what it is everybody thanks for tuning back in here to another episode here on the speed bug channel today i'm going to also talk about another video here on my x diavo s because y'all seem to really like this bike so let's go ahead and keep it rolling now i'm gonna jump right into it would i buy this bike again well this one would i buy it again issues and everything aside i probably would it's not a hell yes but it's not a hell no and i'll tell you why because i look at bikes a little bit differently when you go shop for a car you shop for a motorcycle and such like that most people shop based off the way they look first and they know nothing about them mechanically well that's fine and that works for a lot of people but when you ask the mechanic or past mechanic or anything like that and they say and they'll ask hey what's a good car well the wise mechanic will tell you it's the one i don't fix but it's also the car he doesn't like because it doesn't make him any money so issues and stuff aside this bike does have some issues and things like that and some engineering and stuff. I'm not going to even talk about some of the other Ducatis and such, but this one aside, it's not horrible. It's not bad, but it's definitely not great. Uh, as far as the looks department, I think it's the best cruiser uh, still actually made. I, I really do. And it's the cruiser that I, I like. As much as I love the, the V-Rod and such like that, it's just outdated. And uh, I, I told you guys that that was actually the go-to bike that I wanted. You know me, I'm all about that American muscle. I love it, but it was outdated. Uh, they really needed to bring that engine up to date as well. Uh, it wasn't even necessarily their engine. It was also uh, co-developed with them in Porsche. But the bike was so outdated and it only and the one thing that really bothered me a lot about that bike was it only had a five speed where this one obviously has a six speed and this bike's actually like 150 pounds lighter anyway so uh makes more po horsepower it makes more torque and stuff like that so all those numbers are kind of relevant to me when you factor in weight as well and then obviously it looks significantly different because you don't see a lot of people with x diavolas is pretty much anywhere every now and then you see a v-rod where I, I really like the night rod but Again, it didn't happen for, for various reasons. So uh, getting this bike again, if they came out with another model, I would really hope that obviously Ducati sorted out a lot of their issues on this bike that was with this generation, like the brakes and stuff like that. Key fob, just some of the annoyances and stuff like that. I mean, when you're creeping up on, you know, 30K for a bike, you know, it should especially not within its first year of production it should be like awesome and flawless but that's not and that's a wonderful way ducati loves to take people's money but anyway i i really do like it uh, i you know overall i probably say i would buy it again it, it is a good buy uh as opposed to some of the other ducatis that i have ridden and have owned that i would never ever buy again ever again because they're, i think some of them are the biggest piece of shits in the world but this one i don't think is that bad and i i think i would buy this one again uh, not only for its looks, because it definitely, like I said, it definitely kills it in its looks. Its mechanical engineering, its capabilities and stuff like that, it's 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 pretty good, absolutely. Because I've seen other ducks that are significantly worse, and other bikes that are not ducks that are hella worse than those. So overall, I do think it's a, it's a great bike, and it really gives you a good cross platform to be comfortable. Gives you a great amount of speed, gets great gas mileage. It's got a big tank, so you can drive far cruise control, a lot of features and stuff like that. And realistically, the only thing that it doesn't have that it would need to probably make it better would be like some heat, you know, something from like a gold wing or something like that. But other than that, I mean, if it had like a heated seat and heated grips, which is something that I could like probably put on or something like, you know, you know, onto the bike or whatever, it, it, it's no big deal. But uh, I have no issues or anything really driving this bike um, it really hasn't left me stranded or anything like that, except when the rear brake locked up. But again, a, a Brembo brake issue, not so much a Ducati issue. So I really do think the bike is great. The, you know, headlights are great. You know, the ride is great. It's got great uh, uh, adjustability in the suspension. So when you want to go through those curves and stuff like that, you can really tighten up the compression and the rebound. And then when you're just cruising, you can just completely soften it up. And it doesn't beat you back up, you know, for a bike that actually has forward uh, facing controls because a lot of people complain when you sit 
you know, your bottom is right here, but you gotta be extended. And that's a lot of, you know, force going up and down over those bumps that end up on your spine. So but this one's actually really not too bad. The heat is not too bad as opposed to a lot of other cruisers and bikes like that, even sitting in traffic in Florida in these nice uh, 90 and 100 degree days. Uh, fans going on full blast and stuff like that, but it really doesn't like cook your inner thighs or anything like that. Obviously don't touch the motor, but it's not like, oh my God, I got to get off this thing, you know, you got to air out your legs and stuff like that. No, 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 absolutely not. It's pretty good. And then of course, as you get moving, it tightens right up. So overall, I would highly recommend this bike. And I think that uh, a lot of people were looking forward for this view and stuff like that, because a lot of people asked me, hey, do you like the bike? Would you buy it again? Would you recommend it? Well, I would recommend it. But before that, I would absolutely say go to your Ducati dealer and actually go test ride one. And don't just get hooked on because of how beautiful it is. Actually buy it because when you like it. And when you sit on it, you're going to know it's the one. This is the bike I got to have. Or it's all right. It's not the bike I got to have. And just move on to the next one. So, but... That's going to wrap it up here for today's video. I hope this was informative. I hope this helped out some people. If you guys like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe. Facebook, Instagram, at The Speed Bug. Same name here as YouTube. And we'll catch you for another episode here on The Speed Bug Channel. Deuces, guys.